Okay, here we are in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Believe it or not, we're only about 15, 17 minutes away from the Corvette Museum, which everybody comes to Bowling Green to visit. But right down the street is one of the coolest places to visit in all of America. It's the Lost River Caves. And believe it or not, we're here today and you're gonna love this video. So hit the subscribe, hit the like button and check this place out. Believe it or not, we're right up at the head wall where the springs come in to three blue holes and then eventually make their way down to a huge cave opening, the largest in the East Coast. Natural cave opening where the river goes into the cave and you take boats underneath. It is phenomenal. Check out this video, you're gonna love it. And thanks for watching How to Have Fun Outdoors. Outdoors. All right, here we are at the Lost River Caves and we're at the front desk. And who do I have here? Claire. Claire? Uh, Paige. Paige it is. All right, so when did this thing originally get discovered? So our cave actually doesn't have a discovery date on it. Okay. However, the mills that have been here have been starting since 1792. It's when our first guy came through. And in Lost River Cave, the Friends of Lost River Cave came in in the 1980s, right? Mm -hmm. 1990 was when they were. 1990? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. That thing was, I mean, we were impressed. It's it's very nice, right? I'm super glad to hear that. Yeah, really no, like we it. had a great time. How do you guys like working here? It's love awesome. It. Is it good? It. I just started. All yeah, right. June. All right, here we are. What is this? Well, here where is the zip line. I the want zip to line? Everything about it. Okay, you guys got All zip line. Seasons. It's not just caves? No, we've got a zip line here as well. So it's a course that we have. It's three lines. We go across the valley over the top of our blue hole. Uh, and then we have a second one and we land about 50 feet up in a tree. Then we bring you guys right back down to the bottom of our first tower. Uh, wow. So yeah, in all three lines, we top out at about 27 miles an hour. Um, Awesome. And this is the whole crew here? Yeah, What's the names? So what do we got for names? I'm Luke. Luke? Alex. Alex? I'm Abby. Abby? I'm Brady. I'm Brady. Erica. Okay, who's the best zip liner of all you guys? Uh, not where you make, you make them uh, fight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. All right, so for everyone back at home that thought Lost River Caves was just about caves and hidden rivers, you guys got awesome zip lining here for everybody also. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah. Appreciate your time. We've got a great video for you today on how to have fun outdoors. That's right, the Lost River Cave in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Boy, oh boy, was this a huge surprise. The Lost River originates outside of the cave and flows into it. The cave contains one of the largest natural entrances in all of the eastern United States with boat tours year-round. The only day it's closed is Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and New Year's Day. Other than that, you can check it out. It was once listed on Ripley's Believe It or Not as one of the shortest, deepest rivers in the world. Uh, but then that was later retracted as it is uh, not as deep as what they originally thought. This 72 uh, acre cave property is jointly owned with Western Kentucky University and the nonprofit Friends of Lost River Cave. And boy, oh boy, is it a great place to check out. I think you would really love it. I love the history. The whole cavern nightclub era back in the 1930s during the Prohibition and the repeal of Prohibition, the cave obtained new use. In 1934, uh, Jimmy Stewart actually opened a nightclub uh, there at the mouth of the cave, completed with stage, bar, dance floors. It was known as the Cavern Nightclub, and it was a super popular venue, and famous performers included Dinah Shore and uh, the NBC Orchestra. And in 1939, Billboard magazine named it the Cavern Nightclub as the only air conditioning nightclub in the United States. Pretty awesome overall, and as you can imagine, this place is filled with tons of history. So definitely check it out. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Please support the channel so we can take you to more of these crazy, cool, secret spots around the country. Most of you know Bowling Green for the, uh, the Corvette Museum or north of Bowling Green with the great Mammoth Caves. And we've got videos on both of those. But today we're going to be checking out this hidden gem, the Lost River. So thank you so much. And here you go from the Lost River.
So, so this this cave just seems so big when you come up to it here. That I'm sure the camera doesn't show it, but yeah, this is actually the largest natural cave opening on this side of the country. Wow. So any of the comparable ones were probably created with drilling or explosives, but this one is all thanks to our river here. So pretty cool stuff. <laughs> Very cool. And your yeah. name again was Abigail. Abigail, thanks so much, Abigail. Yeah. Great tour. Thanks for your time. Now, whenever you watch your neighbors raise up first, see what happens to them before you do. <laughs> I'm short. Wow. That's so nice. Nice to meet you, Cindy. That is crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, wow. welcome to Lost River Cave, the inside edition. Get us, Cindy. Now we're inside the cave, instead of doing the outside <laughs> portion, which is a quite a sick well, There used to be shows. Never mind. All right, so KP, can I have that? Thank you. Right over here, this is actually what we call, well, this is Mr. Perkins' old pathway. If you look right there, there's a set of steps that would take you beyond the flowstone here up to the upper passageways where he had Jesse James figurines, and he would, uh, well, that would be our last uh, fact, or I mean, lie for you today. So, we're legend. That's what we call those, yes. We call it flowstone. These are really interesting, consistent, growing uh, cave formations, and we call it a flowstone because there's water flowing over stone. Fascinating, I know. Thank you, everybody. Now, who here's ever been to a movie theater before? Okay, have you Dragon Rock? Okay. Or Mother-in-Law Rock? Whatever, you know. Uh. <laughs> that was a test joke to see how cool you are, and I'm going to see that one on TripAdvisor, I know. So, now, what we're doing is that we're drifting into the breakdown room. This is the largest room in the cave. In fact, we can fit a four-story building in here. It's so big. Just kidding, it's two story, but it's a really big room, isn't it? It's really neat. These rooms underneath of our town, we have several of them, and they open up because smaller rooms will open up like little voids, and we have a sinkhole essentially. It opens up to a cave. That cave then opens up into other rooms, and then we have a tunnel, and then those tunnels all continue to fall apart. And then this is how we get these big things that break down. Our entire valley that you just walked through used to look like this. And in one day, this will all collapse in too. Hopefully not in the next 20 minutes, so we should be fine. Uh, so I don't know about Sydney here. We may have to sacrifice her to the cave guy. So, yeah. KP, you're doing great. Now, has anyone felt a nice cold weather?
All right, Chad, great job. Hey, thank you, sir. You've been doing this how long? Day. This is my ninth season. Your ninth season? Yeah. Wow, pretty He's awesome. He's the expert here. that after robbing the bank in Russellville, Jesse James came down here to hide out. But through that process, his buddy got shot in the leg. So they kidnapped a doctor from the town and they said, you either get this bullet out of my buddy's leg or we'll put a bullet in you. So of course the doctor complied and then they said, all right, we appreciate you helping us out. So you can either, uh, look, you can either stay here or we'll let you go and you don't tell anybody. So of course he went home then he told his wife, and then the whole town found out. So, <laughs> at that point, the whole town headed down here to stake it out. And as you saw, we have that low-hanging rock. They knew Jesse and his sharpshooters would be on the other side, so they just waited it out. And like I said, we only know this one way in and one way out, and Jesse never reappeared. Wow. So, kind of a mystery what could have happened there. But I'll also tell you, that whole story was written in Mr. Perkins' handwriting. So you can decide for, your, decide for yourself if that's trustworthy or not. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah that's the legend. That's a great nice story. story. Jesse yeah. James in <laughs> Bowling Green, Kentucky, yeah. hiding out in the caves. You gotta love it. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah. Next time I come here and search for it. Yeah. <laughs> Overall, we really enjoyed the Lost River Cave. It was absolutely magnificent, and to go through the caves on a boat is a completely different experience. And we've been to lots of caves. You're going to get to see our Mammoth Cave video, our Luray Cavern video in 4K was tremendous. Uh, but uh, not only does Lost River Cave have a great cave experience, but there's tons of hiking trails and activities, zip line, gem mining for the kids, nature activities, great gift shop. Um, but the blue holes were just remarkable. There was one after another after another, and they are stunning and very unique, uh, to say the least, as you can see here in the video. But overall, we would highly recommend next time you're in Bowling Green, Kentucky, not just stop at the Corvett Museum, but also give Lost River Caves a chance. We really enjoyed it. The Butterfly House was, uh, was uh, Aliche just went crazy in there having a lot of fun. And uh, we highly recommend it. So definitely uh, come check it out next time you're in Bowling Green. Cool stuff up here, huh? Wow, pretty cool. Okay, well, we got a fork in the road. What are we doing? Well, or we go here, or we go here. I have no idea. Come on, pick one and let's go. I pick uh, this one. Hey. 
So all the way at the back of the property, 72 acres, you find the Lost River Spring. So this is an underground river that actually comes up above ground right about here, forms a little stream into the different uh, underground and blue holes, and then finally into that beautiful cave that we know as the Lost River Cave. So let's go check out the very beginning of the Lost River Spring. <music> Wow, look where the spring starts and the trail ends. About that. Yeah, Sorry. Uh, oh. oh no, I lost Tommy again. Tommy, stop hiding on me. Oh gee. Hey, look, there is also a spooky house. You need to come here and see it. Oh, a spooky Tommy. Look at this, the third one. Amazing. 